Hello. Conducting online test is not a simple thing. You have to prepare it, subject write questions, and the pictures also should be incorporated in the questions, types of questions, level of questions, and of course, at the end, we have to subtract it and see that all the students comfortably attending the test. So, these are the various challenges involved in conducting online test. All the challenges easily can be avoided with the help of the test mask. The test mask platform avails to create the varieties of questions, varieties of levels. The MCQs, single choice question or multiple selections or fill in the blanks or even the essay type questions also can be incorporated. The videos also can be given as a question. Uh, along with that, some images also can be uploaded by showing the images, we can ask the students to write some context related information. So, the varieties of questions also can be involved, can be used to construct the question. At the same time, evaluation reports also will be very easy in order to put more effort to use the test mask. Now, by the way, I am Kalyan Kumar, Faculty, Institute of Public Enterprise, Hyderabad. I am going to show how the test mass is working and I will show you by demonstrating by creating a questionnaire and show how it is working how we can evaluate the report how we can generate the reports come on let us move into the test mass to access the test mass software we have to go to the Google search bar then we can type testmos.com testmos.com it takes us to the testmos website this is the front page of this is the home page of testmos website here you can see the home features and pricing these are the the menu items here you can notice login sign up this login and sign up is only for the paid users we are not going to pay and uh, uh, buy the software of course we are going to use the free of cost as a free users so here the build a test and a try a demo these are the two tabs the try a demo is for students or even we can see just for the demo purpose and build a test is we can create our questionnaire we can create a test as a faculty we can do that and bottom we can see watch a demo just if you want to have a look at how this test mass testing is going on we can have a look at it so before uh, uh, before hitting on that uh, build a test just you browse down you can see various options highlighted in the website mask so if you are selecting build a test you can create a test design you see this is the outlook of this is the outline of test mass here you can see question management student interface quiz management and reporting so these are the four verticals of test mass if you are coming to question management how we are managing the question what types of questions we are preparing whether the questions are gradable or non-gradable. You see, some questions given to the students, definitely we have to give some marks. That comes from the graded question types. Survey questions, you'll be asking different type of questions, but we won't give any marks to the survey process. So, these are some types. And question banks we can create, we can collect some question bank sets, question bank. So, through the question bank, we can pick up some questions we can make use for the test purpose and uh, so these are other options you see i will show you one by one for coming to graded questions multiple choices also can be used and true or false matching fill in the blanks essay questions so all these things can be graded same questions comes under the survey also we can make use of these types for survey but you won't give any marks so and this is generally called as ungraded questions and question banks you can prepare your question banks 
question banks, more than one bank also we can prepare. At the time of test requirement, we can pick up some questions easily, immediately, instantly we can send a question, prepare a question. So that is the purpose of the question bank. PSA questions, image uploads, video embedded. We can embed some videos. Based on the videos, we can ask questions. Same way we can upload some images by showing the image. We can ask to write or pick up or to write annotate some answers on this. So these are the different kind of questions. So this comes under the question management. We are coming to student management. Who else should attend? What are the credentials? Is there any password is required or email ID is required or some ID identification is required that we can set. How many times the test can be taken by the student or some other criteria. So all these things and moreover there won't be no identification. There, is, there won't be no uh, advertisements. Very professional, professional kind of website. Low bandwidth also enough to conduct the test. That means even remote area students also can be attend the test without any problem. And the quiz management, quiz management, we can filter the questions at the time, four or five questions, uh, more than two, more than one or two also we can conduct simultaneously. So this test must support us without any confusion. So such a way it has been designed. And time limit also can be given how many test attempts limitations. So this can be given in the quiz management. Under quiz management, if you are coming to the reports, we can prepare, we can see the summary of the statistics, summary of the report and uh, that report also can be exported to Excel or some other places like exporting, export to CVS, CSV, comma separated values. So once we are converting, once we are able to export this data under CSV, we can do another manipulation. So we can other calculation also possible. And this is searchable. Even exclusively one student report can be easily searchable. We can see that. One student data also easily we can pick up and see. So these are different kinds of verticals in test modes. I am taking you to the website of the test mass, we are going to construct a test just by clicking the build a test. We are coming to this page. Here, we have to give a test name. We have to give the name to the test. So, I am going to give general general test. Right. So general test is our name of the test and uh, choose a password. I am going to use some password. That password is admin password. Whenever you want to come to this website to look at your test, general test, you have to use this password. If you are forgetting this password, we cannot enter into this website. That means this test cannot be accessed. So retrieving is not possible. Generally, we will be noticing forget password. That option is not at all available. The URL and password should be keep ready or keep safe on your own. There is no alternate way. Right. So what are the limitations? Because we came into, we are taking this test, we are constructing the test free of cost. So free of cost means this is 50 questions only possible and this test can be taken only by 100 students won't permit 100 more than 100 students right and clicking the create test now we are coming to main dashboard of the test mass see left side you can notice the dashboard settings questions publish and results one by one we can see now right now we are in dashboard console here the basic settings is supposed to be given what are these the url should be make a note of that See in the URL bar you can see testmos.com double four double five zero one two slash admin. So this is URL. You should not forget about this URL. So I am copying. I am copying that 
for city purpose and a notepad and password already I have given now the first one is adjust settings so these are the four steps in dashboard click on the first one adjust settings here the test name already we have given that is reflecting here the introduction to the test if you want to give any initial information to the students just like a description you can give otherwise you can leave it as a blank for example i can give student finish this test in 30 minutes right and this is the color scheme these are the color schemes we can select any one of the color scheme randomly i am clicking on the second one uh, next one choose the language for the test box by default you can select english the question settings show all test see if you are prepared the question all the questions may be displayed in a single page or one question per one page per page well, that's available so just for the initial purpose the learners as we are the learners very fresh to we are new to this time mouse test mouse we can select the show all questions in one page randomize the order of the question during the test we are preparing the question in one order but during the test that the serial will be shuffled on its own so that is how it is designed uh, if you are unchecking that the same order will be maintained so malpractice becomes possible and a review a settings conclusion text after completion of the test if you want to give any end note you can add the end note here best wishes okay your test is over best wishes show the custom message if the student passed or failed the test completed instantly the marks also will be evaluated it will be shown to the students may be passed or failed so what the message you want to convey if the student has passed and what are the percentage you want to fix 40 or 50 anything you can fix i'm fixing 40 now pass marks we can say congratulations single word congratulations in case fail students you can tell them best of luck best wishes for the next uh, next test right so these are the messages based on the percentages based on the pass or fail next one at the end of the test we can display the score and test outline also we can indicate the response was correct or incorrect display the correct answers we can give some explanations but generally explanation will not be permitted to the free users it is a premium feature all right next one is access control who can take the test only limited students or the students with the passcode or the students with the unique identifier like that we can put some criteria see if you are checking this box anyone in the sense anyone means anybody can take the test there won't be any control instead if you are fixing some password you can decide the password i am going to decide one password one 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 five ones so students if they are using one 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 i'll be sharing with them only with the help of the passcode they can take a test and this also is possible but these two are given only to the prime users right so here you can see how much time do test takers have to complete the test what are the time limit unlimited or 30 minutes or 24 minutes that's up to you we already mentioned initially 30 so i mentioned 30 minutes and how many times 
can someone take your test generally one time or if it is the test purpose you want to give second time you can say the students second time also but i give you only one time next one what should the test takers enter the identifier what should test takers enter to identify themselves their name otherwise their roll number otherwise their college name section name anything you can fix so for generic i am giving enter the uh, enter your name then browse functionality the browse functionality is not permittable to the web users so good options are um, removed eliminated from the free users disable copy paste nobody can be copy disable the translate and uh, auto complete the spell check and uh, printing so these are the options we can get we can avail only if you are the prime users so if these features if you want to have these features go with the prime the cost also very less comparatively right next one is notification do you want to receive an email whenever someone finishes the exam if you say yes 50 students 50 notification will be received so instead of simply we can say no even we cannot say yes because it's a prime option then we can say yes save now once save once save you can go to the next one preparation is over now we can go to the questions this is setting updated your questions you test has no questions now we have to give the questions uh, in the questions we can set three different types of questions one is graded questions one is ungraded questions another one is others the others text block question pool that's a question bank and a question from another test and a question from file these are only for the prime users and the graded question is for for school purpose the faculty purpose this is for the survey purpose now i am taking multiple choice only one answer is right here you see in this console we can highlight italic underline strike out this center alignment so normal these are the minimum things to uh, construction what is the document editing purpose here are the question so what question can be given i am going to give some question sample purpose mm. who is the writer of big software so the answers indira gandhi apj abdul kalam and vpc now we have to specify the right answer and the next time for the next student the questions will be shuffle if you are fixing if you are selecting this the answers will be shuffle for the next time questions will be shuffle and how many points you want to give i want to give the two points default it will be only one now show the explanation if you want to give the explanation we have to go to the prime users so this is a multiple choice only one answer is right answer now we are going to the next question the next question is multiple choice the questions uh choose the which of colors 
right so choose the vijar colors now what are the vijar colors orange pink gray yellow and white so these are the colors orange is the vijar color yellow is vijar color white is color then if you want to add one more you can add one more 1 2 3 4 5 we have added click to add new answer choice and here we are adding red as one more choice right so this also right answer so four right answer four into two eight marks or simply we can say four marks four points so this is for the shuffle i'm giving shuffle so every time we are facing this question the order will be different the next question is i'm taking true or false what is the question mm. straight line straight line formula is y equal to mx plus c and uh, so this is true this answer we can give it points and the next question is matching question so what is the matching question uh match the following match the following yeah we are going to write madam popova madam popova and madam popova is john kids and a rose is a rose is a rose right so a rose is a rose is a rose is shakespeare Shakespeare, and like that, big software already we wrote somewhere. Which dad? Poor dad. The rich dad, poor dad is. Kiyosaki. Okay, and the next one is mm. okay. One more. Ocean blue. Okay, so they are to match. Here, the Madam Popova is John Kids one, and this one Eros is Eros is Shakespeare, and Rich Dad Poor Dad is Robert. called kiyosaki and the version is blue we can say shuffle every time 
this also should be shareable. So what are the point we can give? The four we are uh, the four options. So four points we are giving. The next one is click to add match. We can add one more or see for confusing the students. We can add one more thing. Mm. Neil Armstrong. Okay, right. So give partial credit and show explanation. Uh, the match style is numeric. Okay, so this is the matching question. So like that we can give the matching questions. Any other thing is missing? True or false? It's a yes a question is there. Yes a question. Right. A sentence on. COVID-19. Only one sentence we are asking short. Okay, so they can write anything. Here we can use the explanation, but it is not permitted for the uh, the free users. And what are the questions? Five questions. The blank also given. This is one type. This is uh, multi. This is true or false. The blank we can try. So fill in the blank so fill in the blank questions we are going to ask our pm name is or we will do one thing what is the sum of these two numbers so we can say 50 plus 60 okay right so what is the correct answer 110 is the correct answers somebody can write hundred and ten right and 100 and 10 also another answer okay and uh, one more time 110 also permitted so these are the various answers whether he is writing number or this one anyone also will be considered and evaluated marks will be given and this is case sensitive if you are giving case sensitive the same uh, capital small letters should be used so we are not using that anything can be permitted so this is a plain fill in the blank questions so complete questions creation is over now we can save save so it is auto save so once if you are saving we can go to the publish now we are going to publish see your test has six questions, six graded, and with a total of 14 points possible. Questions will be shuffled during the test. So 14 points. We will add one more so that it will become 15 questions. Uh, okay, only one question. Choose a flower. So this is rose, this is orange, this is purple or tomato, this is flower, no, mm. lily. So which one is the right answer? Rose is the right answer. Even Lily also, right answer. Anything can be considered. But here we are taking Lily because Rose can be considered as a color. Right. So Lily is the flower. And we can say save. The one point has given. And you see, directly we can go to the publish. Now we can say 15 points publish 
In this publish, we can see the preview because once we are publishing, the question paper can be given to the students for the test. So before that, I want to see the test. If you are coming to the uh, the preview, it will be asking the normal credentials. What are the credentials? For the students, we have given 11111 five times. That is the password. Administrative password is different. Now I want to see the question paper. So just I can see the question paper by selecting preview. You see, write a sentence on COVID. I think this question repeated. No. Right. So what we can write? COVID is what is that? It's a viral fever okay right it's a viral fever the next one is uh, y equal to mx plus c it's a straight line formula i am saying true next one match the following the ocean you see ocean is Blue. Blue is 3. Add select 3. And Madam Papa Y is the heroine of John Kids. John Kids is 4. And this one, Rose is a Rose is a Rose is a poem of Shakespeare. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Robert Kawasaki. The number is 1. Okay. So this is how we are choosing. Next one, what is the sum of the number? What we can write? 1, 1, 0. Actually, 1, 1, 110, 110, 100 are some options are given, but 1, 1, 0 is not given. I am giving 1, 1, 0. So this is also valued, but it will not be considered because that is not given as the alternate. Okay? All right. So in this case, if the students claims that I have given the 110, but the normal box is not given, this is manually we can manage. That we'll see how we can do that. Next question is choose the Vibjar colors. What are the Vibjar colors? Orange is there, yellow is there, white and red. Okay. Now we are coming to the next one. Choose a flower. Orange is not a flower, it's a color. Rose is a flower, but we can claim that that rose is a color but a tomato is a fruit but lily is not a color that is a flower exclusively flower so this is the right answer next one who is the writer of the wings of fire john keats no apj yes we are selecting finally we have to submit finally we can say submit the bottom line we can see the time remaining the time remaining 30 minutes has given 27 minutes still remaining we can say submit once if you are submitting the top side we can see general test set test name and we are under the preview mode your test is over best wishes this is the description at the end of the test we already given that your score is 86 percentage 12 is taken out of 14 and uh, this is one possible point pending. What is the one possible point pending anywhere we missed? Okay. So everything is clear, but we have taken one. We have given one wrong answer. That is why it is not. Here something went wrong. Right. So out of the 186 percentage. So this is how the things will be going on. See, this is a congratulations because the student has passed. So, we are getting congratulations. If you are getting 39 percentage, it will be giving best wishes for the next test. Okay. So, the test is over. Now, we can come back to our the test creation. Now, we can say publish. Before publish, if you want to take this as a hard copy for your reference, we can take it. Uh, see, it's a view or print in your browser, otherwise download as a Word document and show the answers, 
show the explanations. Explanations we cannot add. So only answers. You see, I'm selecting the show answers and the view or print. I'm selecting now. I'm clicking the view or print download. See, now it will be showing because view option is there now. These are the answers. This is the right answer. So right answers also will be shown. We can take a copy, we can take a printout so that while we are reference or we are discussing with the students, we can have a reference. Okay. Right. Here, one more thing, the download. We can use the download with answer or without answer. You see, view without answer. Now the answers are not shown. Clear. Yeah. So I am going back to the screen. We can publish the so once this the preview and this is over. We can go to the publish. You just click on the publish. The publish the test is published and available at these test models. This is a code and this is the passcode. So this we can share with your students so that they can attend the test. Right. So this can be copied or this can be shared in any way, SMS or WhatsApp or mail to the student, they can attend. So here you see, the current status is open and if the time is over, you can close it. This will prevent anyone from, if you are closing this, nobody can take the test. So that is only for the premium users, we cannot close. Once we are creating, the test will be on forever. Next one is scheduled, the pick the peak and the interval of time when students can take the test. Choose the date. We can take, we can fix some time only during, only weekends, otherwise only morning, evening, otherwise coming time. Like that we can fix some time. So these are the options. And your test has some warnings. You can see the warnings. It's the best email identity. It is the best to use the email or identity based access control. Of course, we are already using their name as the ID along with the passcode. Okay, they can use these in the user browser. URL. This can be used as a URL. This can be copied and pasted on the Google browser, and they will be getting to the test mask and will be asking the passcode. They can do the test. You see, for our test, I'm going to the browser. I copied now. Just I'm giving entering. So this is what students will be coming. Students can give their name, Ramesh, and passcode. We know that. And start. Now I am entering as a student with the passcode and my name as the identity. You see, this is how the student will be looking at the screen. They will be taking the screen, they can take the test in this way. So this is how the test modes will be going on. Now I am writing and choose a flower. A rose is a flower and uh, is it true or false yes true and what is the no this is one one ten no one one zero then this is okay and uh, this is a disease next choose the picture colors yellow gray orange and match the following the rich dad poor dad is second one the ocean is third one the rose is one and madam popova five okay right then who is the writer of the wings of fire so it's well known i'm selecting this now it is submission time submitting now we can notice the timing also submit so once we are submitting instantly, the answer is also given here. Okay. So one student has attended our test. Now we are going back to our home page. Right. The one more thing is available that is results. Now we can click on the results. We can see how many students attended, what is their score and other things. Right. So here you see filter by name we have only one student so that is why no need of any filter and these are the things we can discuss average score is 79 percentage 79 
to 79, 79 percentage is the average score. So this is a name that I made the students. The score is 79 percentage, 11 answers right out of 14. There is a starter time and the finisher time. So time stamp also is there. If you are giving weekend, otherwise Monday in the sense, the time stamp also we can notice. And the time taken to attend the test is this one. And the first question, right? The second question, third question, like that. The question is also given. Which question is wrong answer? That also marked there. This is a wrong answer. So we can analyze how many questions are very easy to attend by the students. We can measure how many 10 students attended. Only seven students attended the correct answer for the first one lessons. The, the toughness, the difficulty level is only for three. If nine students wrong to that question, only one student has passed in the, attended the correct way in the sense, the tough level is very higher. Okay, so we can measure the toughness of the difficulty level of the questions. Now the test questions circulated with a few of our students, they attended the test. So I can show you how the results will be. Now I'm going to the results page. See, this is how the questions, the results will be showing using the result tab. See, 79 percentage, that's a 36 percentage to 95 percentage. Average 79 percentage is a score. And like that, the time, total time was given 30 minutes. But here, uh, the average time taken by the students are 7 minutes 27 seconds and total response is 19 and this is a histogram how the questions are going on right see these are the students names and their scores also given over there uh, for example see if you are moving the cursor pointer, cursor pointer at the particular tick mark you know we can see the results the answer of the particular question so this one is they picked up this so the partial marks will be given so this tick is only green let's see yellow red orange and white if you are coming down like that we can see appropriate questions also will be showing with the help of this thing right let's see and uh, if you are observing one important point here important point here in the question number seven a uh, 32 percentage of pass if you are placing the mouse pointer there somebody selected lily somebody selected rose so the question is the the complex kind of the thing because uh, generally people will think the rose also a flower but rose can be considered as a color also so that confusion happens the students not to uh, from the picking the right answer isn't it so this is how the record also we can see report also can be viewed right now and uh, here if you are looking at the top you can see we can export the results as you see in the cvs form csv form so comma separated value see if you are clicking this point grid the points only will be showing in the excel sheet now see downloaded so happen the downloaded file i can i can go to the file area the file see this is the points points grid these are the points grid each question how many how much mark they scored it will be displayed with the help of the point grid if i'm coming back to uh, the site the response grid also is there how the students responded it just to click one more excel file is downloaded that we can see the responses grid the responses grid showing the name of the students and start time end time and the time taken the percentage the points earned and their answers also given see uh, for this question the right a sentence on COVID-19 these are the answers given by the students but if you are observing but if you are observing 
here you can see the fifth question the mark not had given you know it's simply question mark has given no score has given if you are placing the mouse pointer over the question point question mark we can see the answer of the particular student given right because generally we can we ask that give one sentence of uh, one sentence about covid 19 so this is how we can see manually we can give the marks to the particular question okay so combinations we already shown no manually also we can evaluate and the question management the quiz management you see in the quiz management simple authentic summary statics such as manual score adjustments so this is how the manual score adjustments if you need to make an adjustment to someone's the score after they took the quiz no problem we can do that using some special consideration by considering special consideration so that is how here we can see for this question manually we can do some correction marks also can be added that's great the copy to clipboard the copy to clipboard is just you can copy that has copied now i'm going to a word word file in that word file from the clipboard i can copy control v control v simply pasting the information from the clipboard so this is how we can bring the information of this file using the copy to clipboard a view audit log if you are clicking view audit log only three students information only will be showing time is so and ip address ip address also captured and shiny is a name and so these are the ip address LAN ip address will be captured and action submitted the test and the date also so given so if you are a premium paid user we can see maximum of 127 they are showing you can only see three log entries as a free user of test modes join test modes to see all 127 okay right so this is how this is how the test mods is working clear so i hope everyone clearly understand how the test pass is working how easy you can do the things and analyzing report preparation also will be very easy thank you for watching i will meet you in some other video